Welcome or welcome back to the series. We're going to be testing top rated face masks sold on Amazon. Today we have another 3M. These are the 3M Aura. 9205 plus these are considered the flat fold design and 3m also manufactures their face mask in the u.s it provides you with the use by date along with the lot number 25921 let's go ahead and look at the listing before we open this box up they are currently 9.99 which makes them three dollars and $3.33 each. They are Amazon's choice as of now and their current rating is a 4.5 out of 5 with over 10,000 reviews. They are also being sold by Amazon. But let's go ahead and open the box up and try one on. Here is how it looks. So on the mask itself, it provides you with all of the requirements, which is the manufacturer along with the NIOSH N95 stamps and the TC approval number, the model information. And then on the back comes with their warning, their lot number. So the lot number on the mask and on the box are not the same. Let's go ahead and see why they are. There should be a reason why the lot number on the respirator and on the mask are not the same, but I'm trying to look for it and I can't find anything as of right now. But if I do, I'm going to make sure to leave that information in the description box down below. So let's go ahead and continue checking the mask out. These straps personally scare me just because I know that if they break, they're definitely going to hurt. Also being held by staples. The straps are pretty good stapled in there. I don't think they're going to come out. Let's see the material from the inside. It does have a nose foam and the nose foam is like from side to side. The nose wire is a pretty decent no nose wire. I've had some issues with other 3Ms that we've reviewed before when it comes to the nose wire and the inside is extremely soft. Let's go ahead and try it on and see how it fits on my face. <laughs> the smell. <laughs> There's definitely a very, very strong, it might be coming from the glue because this, this specific smell was not on the other, the other 3Ms that I've reviewed, but this is how it looks on my face. I definitely feel like these are made for smaller faces because on my face, it's not extremely small on my face, but it is a very snug fit. It sits pretty good on the face. It, it's definitely creating some moisture. So with that being said and me giving you some of my thoughts, let's go ahead and see how these perform with our TSI machine and see if they pass the filtration test along with the breathability. This is our TSI machine. We use it to test the particle filtration efficiency of a respirator or mask. Our testing procedure is inspired by NIOSH. We first remove the band of the respirator before placing it onto the testing plate to ensure a proper seal. Then we make sure that the respirator is completely sealed with hot glue to the testing plate. The testing plate is then attached to the frame and the box is placed under the TSI filter holder for testing. Let's go over the results. F stands for airflow rate, which we test at 85 liters per minute. R is for resistance, also referred to as pressure drop. This correlates with the breathability, so the lower the number, the more comfortable and breathable the face mask or respirator is. F stands for filtration efficiency percentage. As shown, the filtration percentage of this respirator was 99.92%. We are back now and as you guys saw from the test, it did pass a filtration test. We only decided to test out one because I did try this one on and then we, we left one of them for backup. So we only had one left to test. So that's the one that we got the results from, but it did test with a 99.92 filtration efficiency and the breathability is also pretty, pretty low. So they are very breathable. When it comes to my experience, the comfort was pretty good. It did sit on my face very well. It wasn't super snug, but it was still, but it still had a good tightness to it. I would recommend this for people that have smaller faces. It was a really comfortable face mask to wear, but the smell was definitely very pugnant and the construction quality of this face mask is really good they use very good materials for it like i said these straps scare me a little bit but they're not gonna come off i hope you guys found this video helpful please note that this is my experience and my opinions when it comes to this face mask everyone is gonna have a different experience so in no way are we trying to bash or talk down about any manufacturer we're just here to provide you guys with our opinions and also accurate information from our tsi machine please don't forget to give us a thumbs up subscribe to our channel and also please be sure to recommend any face mask or respirator that you like for us to test out next don't forget to check the description box down below we will have a lot of information including our master data sheet and website which is acumet.com and i will see you guys in our next video